as the year comes to an end, we can look back at some of the good products and services that came into our life that added to our beauty knowledge or beauty routine that we're going to buy over and over and that we're going to keep as part of our permanent collection. So in this video, I wanted to share with you my five top choices for 2020. Hi, I'm Christine. In this video, I'd like to share with you my top choices for 2020 of items or services that have improved my beauty knowledge, my self-perception, helped me get closer to how I would like to present myself on my terms, the money I want to spend, the time I want to spend, and the effect I want to achieve. The blog post that goes with this video is linked in the description box, and I have linked all the products in the description box as well. The first product is a hair product and it's called Living Proof Full Thickening Cream. So <laughs> I have very fine hair but there's a lot of it and I would like to add a little bit of muscle or a little bit of body but I want hair that looks like hair. And so I went to uh, Google, of course, and I looked up thickening products, but I didn't want a poof effect. I just wanted something that adds a little bit of muscle. And this is awesome. I think it's manufactured in a lab. <laughs> or, I guess they all are, but there's something scientific about this one. I'll see if I can find that link and put it in the blog post. It has a very interesting effect. I only use it at the roots. Otherwise, I kind of have a puff ball on my head. <laughs> And it, the effect is very subtle. It does not add any weight. If anything, when you put it in your hair, it feels like it's maybe absorbing moisture from the air. It actually lightens the weight of the hair in a way and has this very subtle but very effective thickening effect. I think it does make its way out to the ends, but as I say, I really just put it, gosh, a dime size, maybe even less than that along the part and along the crown. And then I I don't, I don't like complicated beauty <laughs> routines. So I take the hair near the part and I blow dry it on over on one side and then I blow dry the other side over the other side. Uh, and that's basically it. The second product that I'd like to share with you is NYX or NYX, Dalai Mascara. There's a story that goes with this. I have been reading with great interest the Align Makeup Masterclass posts on chrysalis color, link in the description box below. And it's a, so the, the Align service began as a line analysis service, body shape, body scale, body type analysis service that can be used to find your most flattering shapes uh, and designs in clothing. And man, does it work. <laughs> I will link Florentina's 16 Pinterest boards my body type is called transcendent. So if I knocked on your door, when you opened the door, the first thought you'd have, you had would not be, oh, wow, she's tall. You wouldn't think, oh, shorter than I thought. I'm five foot four. You might think, or many people, the word that's associated with me would be petite. I'm kind of narrow or more narrow than I am broad or athletic or muscular. And there are, we all have various dimensions that have to do with our overall shape. We are three-dimensional beings after all, and we have a certain rhythm and way of moving our bodies. But the most important one for me is probably narrowness. So narrow, that's kind of another word for small. Uh, you could call it yin. Narrow means a horizontal plane. I'm not tall or short on a vertical plane. That's no, no extreme there. The extreme about me is that I'm small horizontally. Horizontal yin. And so when I read these makeup master classes, it says, I enjoyed the, anil, the Align style service uh, about a year ago, just to be complete about this. And I don't get any kind of remuneration for any of the topics and services I mentioned here, but th this one is quite impressive. And so I'm reading the master class, horizontal yin. I know this about myself. There's no, there's no makeup advice or beauty advice out there that applies to everybody. We all kind of know that's wishful thinking, but if you learn a little bit about yourself, you can start making great strides. 
okay, so I'm transcendent. Uh, horizontal yin is the most primary thing you would notice about me. And in terms of makeup, how does this person accentuate the eyes? Because all makeup is about the eyes. Everything goes back to our primary means of visual communication in and out, and that's the eyes. Uh, detail, a statement of detail. Okay, and there's lots more information about the master class. I'm, I'm moving along quickly here just to explain it to you. So if I emphasize my eyes using detail, I figured, well, then what I need to have is uh, each feature, cheek, lip, eye, eyelashes, brows, be fairly specifically defined. I wouldn't do a smudgy kind of effect. I don't do um, blurred outlines. I don't do dropped seams too well in clothing. I don't do it in makeup either. That just makes sense. Okay, the story is coming to an end. This is what meeting me is like. It <laughs> there, there we go off and then we come back. And so I think, okay, I need a defining mascara. I go to beautypedia.com. I, I wouldn't buy something without having a look there because the reviews are just so good. And this seems to be a really good defining mascara. So I bought it and it works out amazingly well. You can get some volume, you can get some length, you get good definition without clumps and it lasts really well. And that brings us to the end <laughs> of product number two, which is the mascara. And also recommendation number three of the five today, which is the Align Style Service. It will be coming back online around mid-January, I believe. And so you can uh, check back with me or I'll post it with this video so that you can track down uh, Florentina. The other place to find her is through chrysaliscolor.com. Look at analyst, look at location. She's in the Netherlands. You can connect with her uh, through her analyst page. Product number four is a primer. For me to make time for a primer in my beauty routine, let alone mention a primer, I really got to like this product a lot. <laughs> and this this one here fits the bill. This is Cover Girls uh, Mattifying Primer. It goes on easily. It has no smell. It doesn't clump. It fills pores. It smooths out well. It remains immobile on your face. It keeps your makeup immobile. And it continues a very effective mattifying effect for a long, long time. That's all I got to say about that. It's really good. Product number five comes from Paula's Choice and it is a liquid sunscreen. It is called Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. I don't find it especially hydrating to tell you the truth. What I love about this is the consistency. It's quite watery. It's probably the most watery sunscreen and it has an SPF of 50 by a company I trust absolutely. Where I find it especially useful is for creating tinted sunscreens or putting an invisible layer underneath a foundation without adding weight. It doesn't move, it doesn't crease, it doesn't do anything. The only caution might be that I would not put it too close to my eyes. It doesn't migrate, but it is a thin fluid and um, you wouldn't be wouldn't want it to have it too close to your eyes. But besides that, Again, I'm looking for <laughs> speed. <laughs> I uh, have a, f a foundation that is a good color, but it is thicker than I want. It's uh, made by Rimmel, I think 24, 25 hour lasting finish. It's for me too thick in terms of wearing it on its own, even if I put it on with the sponge. Now we're getting into more fussing than I'm, I'm really willing to do. So I will mix it half and half with this sunscreen and it's just perfect. It spreads, it fills pores, it stays put, and it gives me just the right amount of coverage for my skin to look like skin. Thanks for listening. I will put all of the links in the description box. If you have any questions, you know that I am always here. Happy 2020. Uh, happy 2021. Pardon me. <laughs> We're not going to talk about 2020. And <laughs> I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.